Hello everybody! Today we're going to compare three drum controllers for Taiko no Tasujin. Taiko no Tasujin is a Japanese arcade game where you hit Dawn and Cars to the beat. The game has been ported to multiple platforms like the PS4, Nintendo Switch, Wii and Mobile. The drums we'll be comparing today are the drum controllers for the Switch actually. The Switch drums are great because you can directly connect them to PC and they'll still work as a gamepad controller. So the first drum is the cheapest one at 50 US dollars. It's the non-official Switch drum and I don't have the box anymore and I can't unbox it in this video because I already opened it in another video. The box is really plain and they didn't put the word Nintendo Switch on it probably because they didn't have the license. And the drum is basically like one of those brandless controllers. The second drum is the official Hori Switch drum that sits around 75 US dollars. I, I bought it so we can just unbox it in this video real quick. The box is prettier and detailed compared to the knockoff drum. If I'm not wrong, the brandless switch drum didn't have extra boxes in its box. It was just the drum and parts in plastic bags. Putting it together is easy. Uh, one thing I noticed though is that when you put on the legs, you pretty much can't take them out anymore unlike the knockoff version. And the final drum we'll be looking at is the Taiko Force Level 5 that costs 380 US dollars for the drum and a PC adapter. You can also buy other adapter add-ons. The Taiko Force is a controller made by a fan of Taiko Natsujin, so it's not by a company, it's by a single guy. It's the only arcade accurate drum for Taiko that exists right now, which means its size is of the actual arcade size and it also weighs 10 kg. The Taiko Force didn't come in any custom box, so I can't unbox it or talk about when I did unbox it. It's, it just came in a shipping box. So let's look at the difference between the drums. The brandless drum is angled lower than the Hori drum, and the drum face is smaller. Also, the Hori drum is thicker than the brandless drum. The brandless drum has this really weird feeling when you touch its face. It's not solid and your finger sinks in to press the sensors. The Hori drum doesn't do this and is solid, and the Taiko Force is also solid. The drumsticks that come with the two are a little different. The brandless one is completely plain, but the Hori one has the Taiko no Dasujin logo over it. They're about the same thickness in diameter and lengthwise, but by holding it, you can feel the plastic in official Hori drum is much thicker than the brandless one. And you can hear it too when you do a sound test. The buttons on the brandless drum are really hard to press and they are really mushy. It feels really cheap. On the other hand, the buttons on the Hori drum's face sink in and are really soft. They still feel kinda mushy but they are a little bit more quality. For the Taiko Force, the buttons are on the adapter box and they are very clicky. They are not that solid though and I can feel them wiggle around. Also the rubber on the sticks can fall off. The surface of the Taiko Force is very rubbery solid. Bachis can roll and vibrate on it very well. The surface of the Hori drum isn't as great but I can see a little bit of knockback but it's very minimal. The brandless drum just absorbs all the force and can't roll at all. For those who aren't familiar with Taiko no Tasujin, rolling is a technique to swing to hit the drum once but land more than one hit. How it works is that you hit the drum and hold your bachi there and the bachi vibrates against the drum and the drum senses the extra hits. Okay so first things first, we're gonna test the drum on Taiko. I said that I'm gonna use a simulator for this because I can't seem to ever get the offset right on uh, my Nintendo Switch. Okay, so the first drum I'm going to be trying is the the Brandless drum. <laughs> the dawns feel so weird. I mean. It can't roll at all. Now 
for the Hori Switch drum. Uh, this one I have high expectations, it really just feels nicer by touching it, so... The dawns are really nice on you. The cast feels like I'm hitting really hard plastic, but I think this is a standard from like uh, official Tata cons. The cast on the brandless one, they hit better, and it like bounces off more. This is, it, it, it just doesn't. Then for Buffalo Dawns, The cars here are really good, if only I could just combine them. It has its up and downs, this is generally better quality, but because this is an official Hori Tata Con, I think you can actually mod, mod this, become more sensitive, but to the point that you can actually do rolls on it, because this thing can kind of roll, it's just that the sensors are not sensitive enough to, to, to feel the rolls on it. This thing is, it will, it, it, it can't roll. I can't imagine doing the rolls up the top here though. It doesn't bounce like this. Alright, now for the Taiko Force. You already can see that it rolls very well from the car zone here. And the same for the drums. Oh yeah, one thing about the Taiko Force is that the car zone, like the sensors for the car, is bigger than the arcade drum in the arcade. that some people actually put a cloth over this. It's, it's, I feel like it's bouncier than the arcade machine, but I might be wrong about this. This is, this is like really the best option out of all three, but it's also the one that is insanely expensive. All in all, you generally get better quality the more you spend, with the Tycho Force Level 5 being my favourite controller out of all the controllers I've owned so far. You can still play high level things and full combo are all perfect on the cheaper Tatacons, YouTube user Goniha tried and tested it on his channel, both on the brandless drum and the horror drum. Although in my opinion, the Tatacons will probably start being really hard to full combo on uh, on songs that you have to roll for, I would recommend the horror drum the most out of the two switch drums. It's just better quality and you can mod it down the line. The Tycho Force is best for people who are really into Tycho Taxigen and want to achieve the full arcade experience and quality. And that's all I have for this video. 